On the way to dress rehearsal for the TEDx Omaha talk, I'm super nervous and really excited and honored that I have been chosen to tell my idea worth spreading. So I'm gonna talk about how I came upon my questions for self-reflection that I teach people every single day, except I'm gonna tell it from the personal side, how they really kind of came alive in me and I used them in my own life before I started to teach people how to use them to live drama free. This has been one of the most challenging speaking assignments of my entire career. It is so easy to get up and present on research and data and tools and strategies. But to put your thinking in a 10 minute presentation that is just telling your personal story, it's like every word matters. And I have taken this from 30 minutes down to like 10 minutes. And that has caused me to do so much self-reflecting to really look inside and see what's important to me, like what word fits, like what is the gray, what's the difference between like two ways of expressing something and I've thought about things I haven't thought about for years that have happened in my personal life and have really shaped me as a person and I can't thank Rita Paskovich enough, she's my coach during all of this. The TEDx people gave us a coach and she's fantastic. Take a beat. Take a breath. Yeah, take a breath. You can look at the audience and then you start. I'm guiding you, a group of successful leaders, on a hike up a sacred mountain near Tecate, Mexico. It's a conversation. Okay. How do you feel about it? I, I like it a lot. I like what we created and after I've like rehearsed it three or four times, I can do it like really well. Um, and you know, yes, we'd love you to do all the words, but do what comes out is what comes out. Yep. I am so grateful they made us do a dress rehearsal because I was so nervous when I got in that circle. And I think I got all the nervousness out and I'm ready for a good night's sleep. And tomorrow is the day. So today is the big day people are starting to file in and yeah, I'm a little nervous. It's TEDx Omaha day where we are about to share our ideas we're spreading. You know what? This is the hardest thing I've ever done, you guys. Really? I'm not kidding you. I can go and speak on anything, but you have to like, like 12 minutes, choose every word, memorize. It's, it really is the, the most challenging thing I've ever done. We discovered you and um, you're keeping me at work. Oh my <laughs> God, now you're gonna get me crying before the talk. <laughs> well, you're my inspiration right now. Thank I really you. appreciate everything, and all the vibes you're coming. Giving out. This is my best friend in the entire world. <laughs> my love rock. I was able to rise above the conflict with my husband to a place beyond all of that, to a place from which I could engage with the world and have the impact I felt like I was born to have. Great in this situation meant being the best working mom I could be for my kids and create a fabulous new chapter. This is an experience that will teach you something forever. You did a fine job. I got out and just, like, I had it memorized, but I know. I tell my kids, I'm like... <laughs> but, but did you not see the standing ovation? Yeah, I did. I am so relieved that my TEDx appearance is done. I totally underestimated how vulnerable you feel standing in that red circle. Um, I wanted to share from my heart, and when I looked out in the audience and saw my kids, I was very touched. For I love you, Mama Bear. We made it through. Amazing. It's it's awesome. awesome. And uh, it felt wonderful to, instead of being like a big speaker, to just be a person 
struggling to tell a story from my heart. So it felt real and it's been a fabulous experience.